new camera, new set, new product. Let's let's try something a little bit different. What's going on guys? My name is Kyle and welcome back to the game department. We have a brand new look, baby. Everything looks very different. We got a new camera. The set looks different. Got some lights and stuff. We got an overhead. What's up, overhead? We got a bunch of new stuff. So today I want to show you a new product. This is a Kogan mouse. This is called the GM Air Ultra. It is a 6400 DPI gaming mouse. And we're going to talk about it. Not only are we going to, are we going to talk about it, but, 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 we're, but, we're going to, but we're going to talk about it. We're, we're all going to talk about it. There's so many things to show you. We're going to talk about it. I'm very excited, if you couldn't tell. We haven't even opened the mouse yet. I'm just excited for change. So let me know if this change is something that you're also excited, excited for. And 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 we'll get we'll get into talking about the mouse. So let's open it. Now this mouse itself, it looks like one of those honeycomb mouses. If you understand that idea, you probably can't see it from that over reflective. We're gonna open it up. It we're gonna open it up, and then you guys can see it because I mean you can't. It's reflect. It's reflective. It's reflective. They can't. You it, you can't see it because it's reflective. Trust in our time. Let's get this bad boy open. Beautiful. Now. I have no experience with little honeycomb mice like this. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a razor hoe. Uh, I use my razor basilisk all the freaking time. So this is gonna be a different experience, but the last Kogan mouse that we tested, it did really freaking well. It did really freaking well. So with any luck, this will also do freaking well. Okay. Okay, now now, now you guys might be able to see it a bit better because it's not, it's because now it's not reflective. So this is what the mouse, looks like. Let's get all this packaging out of the way. Nice braided cable. So this is essentially what you get. You, I, hope, I hope they can see that. It's a, a nice little honeycomb, honeycomb design. Look at that. Simple, beautiful little braided cable. I mean, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. It feels good. It is definitely light. Definitely light. I would love to know what this weighs. Let's, let, let's find out. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back one second. Okay, let's find out. So, now obviously scale is going to sit at zero. I'm not going to weigh the cable. I'm only going to weigh the mouse portion because obviously that seems like the most important part. So currently we're sitting at 65 grams. Can you see that? Can you see that? Probably You probably can't see that. 65 grams, baby. That's a steal, dude. That That's a steal. That, that's, that's really light. That's super freaking light. Now overall, the quality of the mouse feels pretty freaking good. The braided cable is actually much nicer than I thought it was going to be. Obviously with cheap braided cables, you obviously think they're going to be rubbish. This is nice and soft. It feels quite durable. Um, obviously that's subjective because it probably would change if I pulled on it really hard, but why would you do that with the mouse anyway? But overall the mouse looks pretty great. There's no real imperfections in the plastic. It doesn't look cheap. The buttons feel good. Oh, did I speak too soon? Oh, I think I spoke too soon, ladies and freaking gentlemen. The left click, really nice. You probably hear that. Look at this. Satisfying. The right click, that is spongy. Spongy, dude. That doesn't feel good at all. The left click is just so nice. It's so satisfying. So satisfying. But that right, I don't like that. Maybe mine's a dud, but... We won't, we won't give up on it yet. We won't give up on it. It does have two side buttons on here. Obviously you can assign these to different tasks, whatever you want to do. Overall, it doesn't feel too cheap. Obviously when you buy a gaming mouse that's 30 bucks, you, um, you question the quality. And if you don't question the quality, then I want to shop where you shop. <laughs> But I mean, look, overall it feel, it does feel really, really nice. I want to chuck this into the computer and see how it performs side by side to a mouse that I've, I've paid a little bit of money for. Um, I think what we'll do, I have a Razer Basilisk downstairs. I think we'll chuck this in the computer next to the Basilisk and see how it goes. Obviously it's not going to be a very fair comparison because this is a $35 Kogan gaming mouse and the Basilisk's a Razer product that are obviously known for making good peripherals. So it might be an unfair fight, but I we'll give this little dude enough of a chance. We'll, we'll, give, we'll give him a chance. Okay, we've teleported downstairs. We're in the office. It's plugged into the computer. Let's, let's have a look at it. So before we get started, I'll quickly show you how to get the software on Kogan's website. It's very, very easy. If you go here to the sale page, this is the mouse, $35.99, was 80 bucks. 
That's a steal. <laughs> now if you scroll down, you're gonna see on the little list here, it says download the driver. Click this button, takes you to a next page, click download direct instead of downloading to your Dropbox, and there you go. Extract it, run it, it is simple. So after you've run it, this is the software that you get. So this is what the, the GM Ultra, this is the, the, the software to customize the mouse. Now even immediately, I'm gonna quickly show you what the two mouses look side by side. Now I have a Razer Basilisk, as I said before, and the GM Ultra from Kogan is side by side. So you can see shape and size, they are pretty similar. One's not overly bigger than the other, but as I said before, the, the GM Ultra actually feels a little bit nicer in my hand. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm opening something for the first time, but we'll see how it goes within the game. So looking at the software, there's a bunch of different things that you can do from your lighting to your key assignment, macros, and even your advanced DPI settings. Now, I really like the way they've actually done this. With Razer, you've got your DPI settings, which are these two little switches on the top of the mouse, so you can cycle through your DPI settings this way. I like that. Sometimes it can get annoying if I scroll too far for whatever reason and I accidentally taint change my DPI settings, then my mouse goes bananas. But with this mouse, if you flip it over, there's two little buttons either side of the sensor and that actually changes your DPI and your USB reporting rate. So if we look on the software just here, we've got DPI one is red, DPI two is blue, three is green, blah, blah, blah. So you can change the values of each DPI setting and you've got seven profiles to choose from. So let's say we keep everything exactly the same. So they cycle in these numerical values. If we flip the mouse over and push this button on the right hand side here, you'll see it flashes purple, which means it's changed to DPI four. If we change that again, it'll flash orange, which means it's gone to DPI 5, and that cycles all the way through till we get back to the color that we had, which was green. And now we're back to our DPI setting, which I think is really freaking convenient. Also, the other thing as well is you can change your USB reporting rate from 1000 hertz to 500 hertz, 250, and 125. And that's done exactly the same way. If you flip the mouse over on the left-hand side here, you click this button, and it cycles through each USB reporting rate. So we're gonna go back to a thousand. I'm not sure what the red means because it doesn't really have a color assigned to that reporting rate. But if you look on the screen, it cycles in real time so you can see exactly what you're at. Now looking through the lighting settings here, we've got different animations, wave, spectrum, solar wave, just normal stuff that we're used to. So if we go on wave here, you can change the brightness of the mouse, bring it all the way down. We can do it at 50% if we really wanted to, but nobody's gonna do that because you guys wanna show as much color as you possibly could. Uh, and the same deal, if you wanna change the speed, you can change the speed of that bottom lamp. So when it cycles, it cycles at a much slower rate, which is kind of cool. It just gives you that customization. And for $35, that's more customization than I thought you would get. So all in all, it's not bad software. Cheap peripherals are kind of notorious for having really crappy software. But this is really easy and simple to use. Uh, I think Kogan's done a really freaking great job. Now let's see how it performs. I'm gonna play some CSGO to see how it feels and really gauge it from there. Now first things first is I've actually changed the DPI in this mouse to match what I use on my Razer mouse. So comparatively, settings are gonna be exactly the same, you'd hope. Now it's definitely taking a little bit of getting used to. I'm definitely more used to a heavier mouse like I have with my Razer Basilisk. This, this feels a lot a, a lot lighter, obviously, because it's only 65 grams, which is great if that's what you're into. I myself, I'm not really into that that lighter feel. It just feels like I don't have as much control as I do with the mouse that I use, but I think that's just gonna be personal preference, realistically. It's actually doing really freaking well. The biggest issue that I'm having that I can already tell after only playing for the first minute and a half is the right mouse button, which we already thought before, isn't really holding up in quality. The left trigger, amazing. It's, it's super clicky. It does exactly what it needs to do, but the right trigger, mm, not doing very good. It feels hella spongy, really kind of gross, if I'm honest. Okay, look, it didn't it didn't do as bad as I thought it was gonna do, but it, it, didn't, it didn't do as well as I would have hoped. So let's, jump back upstairs and we'll go over the results. So how did it do? Now listen, I'm kinda happy, but I'm kinda sad at the same time. Let me explain. The mouse feels really good. It genuinely does. I, I'm not really the honeycomb kind of guy. I haven't ever had one of these mouses before, so maybe I'm missing something, but it is super comfortable. 
Super, super comfortable. I don't know if it's just because this size of the mouse fits my hand really well. And maybe, maybe when I bought the Razer Basilisk, I bought the wrong kind of mouse for myself, but it does feel very comfortable. The biggest issues that I have with this, unfortunately, is quality. The, the plastic feels really good. It obviously is light. The RGB looks okay. The left click, substantial. The right click is just, maybe this one's busted, but the, I mean, that just goes to show quality, potentially, if it's done that from manufacturing, I get that, but is that an issue that's happened in packaging? Is it an issue that's happened in post? We have no idea. Um, same with the clicks. The side clicks are actually really responsive and really, really nice. They feel good. They, they have a nice, satisfying click, if that makes sense. But overall, look, you, you pay $35 for a mouse, you get $35 quality. Now, if you're looking at this mouse, don't let this deter you. It isn't a terrible mouse. I just wouldn't expect it to last you forever. If you do, then you'll be disappointed. If you don't, you don't get disappointed. And everybody likes not being disappointed. If you want to see me use this mouse on stream, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at twitch.tv forward slash the game department. If you haven't been there already, you, you, you absolutely should. Let me know that you found this video. Let me know that it's the, it's the GM Air 6400 Ultra Kogan mouse and you want to see it on a stream. And I will probably plug it in right then and there and, and we can play some games with it because, you know, look, I, I, I've played for like half an hour with it. A stream goes for about four hours. So maybe it might be better and it might be worse. So more in depth at Twitch. Now, if you like talking about games or memes or just like roasting me in general, I'll leave the link to our Discord below. Come join it. We've got a great community of people and we would all love to have you there. If you like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Also, if there's another product that you wanna see sometime in the future, leave me a comment below. This review is a big thanks to a comment. I'm gonna pin that right here. Shout out to you, my friend. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I hope this helped you in some way or another. If you wanna see more of the content I post, I post videos here every Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video. <laughs> other than that, guys, I'm gonna leave you to it. I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a good morning. Bye.